Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Between now and December 16th, if you use this promo code, you will automatically be entered into a drawing where 13 winners will each win one of the Flipside Gaming Masterpiece Collection playmats. See the description below for more details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and here we go again. Against my better judgment, we're going to open another box of Ultimate Masters. So I was trying to get a second box for the channel. I was able to do so, which is good, but these are expensive, so this will be the last one, most likely, that I open on here. Now, if you saw the last box opening, it was pretty good. I can't complain about it. I feel like we got an amazing box topper. We hit one of the Mythics, which is always awesome. We got some good rare, great rares, uh, good foil mythic in there too. So a lot of interesting stuff. I'm sure there were better boxes out there, but it was real good. I was happy with it. Can this box be better or worse? Well, we'll find out in just a second. 24 packs. We're going to open them and we'll go kind of quick. We got our box topper here. We'll save that to the end because why not? And let's get cracking. So... Hopefully my audio is a little better on this one than the last one. I noticed when I was editing the last video, the pack noises and, and the card shuffling and stuff was like way too loud. So I had to kind of strip my vocals out of it, like my voice out of it, and actually just kind of use that. It sounded kind of like quiet and weird sometimes. So hopefully this is better. Okay, our first foil, of course, a foil in every pack, Fecundity. That's kind of cool. Sublime Archangel is our first rare. All right, nice. So when it comes to commons and stuff, I know some people do like to see them. Other people want me to go faster through the pack. <laughs> Since this is the second box opening, I'm going to go pretty quick. I mean, I'll thumb through them so you get an idea of what's there. But I think you, so it seems like most people prefer that I go faster. So so I'm going to try to do at least right now. But if that's not the case, let me know. All right, Chainer's Edict. So very nice uncommon foil here. Really happy with that. I'll take that all day long when it comes to an uncommon foil. Spoils of the Vault is our rare in this pack. Okay. There's our uncommons, and then Treasure Cruise is in there. Love Treasure Cruise. All right, let's keep going. If you haven't seen me open these before, or anybody, I'm sure by now you've probably opened some or seen them open, but they are kind of the Japanese language uh, print product. So they're, they're oh, there's a nice one. Uh, so they're like real glossy, and they're in those kind of like heavier packs, but uh, Fate's Fetters is a great common foil to get. Happy with that. And there's a Maelstrom Pulse. Good for your Jun decks. So, very good. All right. There's a Fire Nice in there. I did get to play some Limited with this, finally. And it was a lot of fun. Um, if you get a chance to play maybe on Magic Online or something, it is cheaper to play there, of course. Um, I would recommend it. It was a blast, actually. Acacian Crier is our foil. And we get a rare Stirring Wildwood. Oh, at least it wasn't our box topper, I hope. Um, Eternal Witness is in there. That's good. Good uncommon. There's another Fates Fetters. Okay. So there you go. Well, the mechanics just overlap so well. I mean, we did the limited set review, so you may have seen that. But the mechanics just overlap in such an amazing way that you just feel like you have a million options when it comes to deck building. And it's it's just really awesome. Ingot Chewer is our rare. Gorio's Vengeance. Nice. Very nice rare there. Okay, let's pick it up a little bit with these rares. Some Burial Rites is a good one, uncommon. Um, Gorios is, we got that in our last box too, but really good card. Happy to have it. And one that I never owned and would like to play with. All right, we'll keep cracking here. No Mythics yet, so last box had a lot of Mythics. I don't know if this box will have as many, actually. Golgari Brown Scale is our foil. Disrupting Shoal, another one we got in the last box that I was real happy with, because again, I didn't have one of those. This uh, Desperate Ritual, sure, sure, Young Pyromancer, okay. So there we go. Just move these cards so they don't fall over, they're real slidey. Okay, we'll keep going. Next pack, let's hit some good stuff. I wanna see some good rares here. Oh, that's a start, okay. <laughs> Foil Demonic Tutor. Yeah, I uh, yeah okay. If that's our only foil rare, I'm happy with that. That's phenomenal. Last box we got a foil rare and foil mythic, so maybe there'll be something else in here. Also a through the breach in this pack. This is awesome. Another card that we got in the last box, but again, I don't think I ever had one. 
So that's kind of sweet to play with cards I've never actually owned before, maybe. Because I will play limited with these. That is kind of, other than having the channel, <laughs> the other reason that I would buy these. But honestly, if I didn't have the channel, I don't think I'd buy them. I would just play on Magic Online and buy the singles I need. That's the key. If you need singles for a um, deck or what have you, they're getting pretty cheap right now. I'm going to do a finance, uh, I'll do continual finance videos pretty soon on that. Oh, is this a foil? Holy cow. Okay. Foil Lord of Extinction. That's phenomenal. And yeah, so we get a mythic foil and a rare foil in this box as well. I'm like, All right. I'm happy with that. And <laughs> are you kidding me? Liliana of the Vale. I haven't pulled one of these since Innistrad. Like, I, I don't think I, I opened Modern Masters 2017 on the channel. I don't think I ever pulled a Lily. So there we go. And back in Innistrad, I didn't have a channel. So you didn't get to see those pulls. Uh, but there you are. I got a story about Liliana. I'll tell you in a second. Holy cow. That is awesome. What a pack that is, huh? Take that, two mythics. That's certainly amazing. <laughs> All right. Lily is still the highest valued card in the set right now, too. So that's pretty awesome. Probably always will be. The card's amazing. Okay, so back in the day when you go to limited events, this was a Pro Tour qualifier, actually. And they would make you open packs and then register the packs. Well, open packs and then pass and then register them pass. I opened a Liliana and had to pass it. Yeah, <laughs> that's my sad Liliana story. So that made up for that. All those years ago. Um, <laughs> that was in a strat, of course. Okay, Ghoul Caller's Accomplice. I didn't make it to the Pro Tour either, by the way. Golgari Grave Troll is our rare. <laughs> and there you go. Um, I love the art and that new Golgari Grave Troll. So, I didn't do bad in that tournament. I remember I should have probably done worse. I won one game where the opponent just didn't know how regeneration worked. They kept the regeneration creature back as a blocker and attacked me with another creature, and it just got aggressive, and I was able to, like, destroy the regeneration creature. They could regenerate it, but it came back tapped, and they didn't know that. And I, we had to call a judge, but then, of course, I won, but I probably shouldn't have. Gener um, Generator Servant is our foil, and coming off the Liliana High, Tolerant Sky Summoner shows up. <laughs> probably the worst rare financially to open, but a cool card for limited. Like, I'll certainly most likely play with that. At some point. All right, we'll keep going. Enough of story time. I got to pick things up a little bit. <laughs> Don't want to keep you here all day. Liliana story time and Innistrad story time. Okay, we got, oh, a foil treasure cruise. Yes, by all means. That's an awesome comment. I'll take that anytime, anytime. That's amazing. And Squee Goblin Nabob is our rare. The card's been printed a number of times. Still a cool card, though. There's a lot you can do with it in this set, that's for sure. So, very nice. There's a foil, Fate's Fetters. Set's tons of fun. I just wish it wasn't so expensive. If this was even the price of a normal Master set, honestly, I definitely would have bought a third box. Maybe even a fourth box, just because I like the limited environment so much. But, I don't know. How does that add up? Does that even, do they lose money or make money doing it this way? I don't know. Too, or too, uh, <laughs> I'm too much into the box opening to do math right now. Think twice, foil. Oh, all right. We're getting the big hits now. Cavern of Souls. So we hit Lily and Cavern of Souls. Those are two of the big ones that you want to get out of a box for sure. Um, and is that our second, not counting the foil, second mythic? Or am I forgetting a mythic? I don't remember now. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good foils in this box too, because we hit some good uncommon and common ones. So I do like that. That, that adds to the value quite a bit when it comes to the box. Um, I mean, values are all over the board right now. People are, you know, worried. It's, it's holiday season, too. So sellers, they they want to make some money. They're selling stuff off pretty, you know, they're, they're being competitive. So you can get some amazing deals on singles right now if you look around. Fiery Temper is our foil. And Tassiger, the Golden Fang. I love the new art on Tassiger. Like, I have Tassigers. I opened them on the channel way back with Fate Reforged, but kind of happy to get that one. That's cool. Happy to see that. All right. We're getting, starting to get down there. But Lily, I mean, man, Lily and Cavern. If those are only two mythics, I'm not actually that sad. Uh, Turn of Mist is here. And a Phyrexian Tower. We got one of those in the last box, too. But again, another card that I don't know if I ever played with. 
that I can recall. Pretty happy to see that for sure. Okay. So if I could get one more thing, I probably won't get any more rare mythic foils, I would imagine. So I don't know if I could get one more thing, a Karn would be cool, but that would ask, ask, be asking a lot too. A uh, wild mongrel foil. It's actually another cool common foil. Leovold. Nothing wrong with a Leovold. Uh, I think I opened one of those in Conspiracy back in the day when I was opening those packs. Um, but yeah, that's pretty awesome. Pretty nice pull. I love sp uh, spider spawning for limited. I played with that already, actually. Another good card from Innistrad. Limited scene there. <laughs> All right. So I think that's three mythics, not counting the foil one, which was our fourth. So, I mean, it's still possible. We got a number of packs left here to get some more. And there's also some amazing rares in the set. So hopefully we'll get some more. One or two other real cool pulls. Repel the Darkness. And oh, that's not one. Lava Claw Reaches. Won't, won't. Okay, that's fine. Someone had to get it. And I can't complain. This box is amazing. So... <laughs> The Through the Breach, the Glorious Vengeance, the um, the Shoal. Like, those are all cards that I... Oh, nice. That I kind of wanted to get just generally. So, there you go. Uh, we get the Merit Lage token as well, which is actually really sweet looking. We get Miraculous Recovery and Raging Ravine. We got one of those in our last box, too. If you don't get Celestial Colonnade... Eh, it's the second best. It's like the consolation prize, I guess, when it comes to those lands. Creeping Tarp, it's okay. The other two are kind of sad. So, we pulled the other two today. So, there you go. That's the karma of pulling Lillian Cavern, I guess. You have to have a couple bad pulls. We had Teleron in there, too. So, is what it is. All right. There's uh, Penumbra Worm is our Visions of Beyond. We didn't get that in the last box. Kind of a sweet rare. Nice Therese Nielsen art there. I like that. Lava Spike, good uncommon. Used to be a common. <laughs> not anymore. How many packs we got left here? I'm not going as fast as I intended to go here. Started talking about stuff, chanting with y'all. Okay, <laughs> there's six packs left, counting this one. So, still plenty of room for something crazy to happen. Prey Upon, Foil, Daybreak Coronet. That's not bad. I like that card. There's a Buried Alive. Sweet. Okay. Five more to go. I'd like to get one more crazy thing to happen out of this box. I mean, I don't... Might not hit any more Mythics. I mean, we might if we get lucky. You never know with these things, but... Walker of the Grove is our um, foil. Vexing Devil is our rare. Hmm. I actually like Vexing Devil as a card. It just needs to find the right home, I think. All right. Four packs left. Desperate Ritual Foil. That's a neat foil to get to at Uncommon. I'm happy with that. Life from Loam. Another good rare. Very good. Very good. Happy to always see those. Nice value behind that card. Especially with Dredge doing so well right now in Modern. Kind of a nice pull to get. Okay. Last three. We got a Lily and two Karns. I'm going to save the two Karns to the end because we still want to get a Karn. <laughs> Oh, Phyrexian. Oh, that's a foil. It's just our third rare foil. One mythic and two rares. I'll take it. Phyrexian altar. This is first time in foil? I think, right? It was an invade. No, invasion. Invasion had a foil. So, no, not first time in foil. It was from invasion. Oh, wow. Still, that's amazing looking. That's awesome. Urborg tomb of Yawgmoth. That's nice, too. But, wow, look at that foil. Phyrexian altar. This box is kind of amazing. <laughs> it really delivered on foils. Gave us two incredible mythics, some awesome rares, and really delivered on foils. We haven't opened our box topper yet. I almost forgot about it. <laughs> I got so excited about everything else. All right. Here we go. Hooting Mandrels. Ray of Dawnbringer. Eh, okay. Laboratory Maniac. That could be fun. I played with that, but I didn't get it to happen. Came close, though. I didn't quite. I won, but I just didn't win with Laboratory Mania. All right, last pack on the box topper. I can't really ask for anything. This box has been nuts. <laughs> All right, here it is. Fume Spitter. Oh, back to basics. Okay, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, we'll take that. Vengeful Rebirth. I don't know if I've opened one of those yet. Maybe I did in the last box. Yeah. All right. Well, it's that time. What do you think? 
Uh, don't be one of the two bad ones. Um, <laughs> I mentioned in the last opening, some of these got a little damage too because of the pack shifting and stuff. This one looks fine, so we'll see. Um, I mean, of course, there's so many big hits here. Who knows? I'm going to slow roll this for a minute for you. Um, quickly, before I flip the card, hey, just thank you for watching and spending some time with me. As always, check out the description below to help the channel out. And hey, just thanks for being here. I appreciate y'all. So what do you think? What is it? Life from the Loam. That's pretty cool. It is a rare, not a mythic like we got last time, sure. But Life from the Loam, especially again, like I said, with Dredge being so hot right now. Yeah, I'm not sad to see that. So that's kind of sweet. So <laughs> awesome, awesome stuff. Hey, as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.